Dankeschön. Thank you for having watched my playlist German Political History in Musical Form. Our journey begins with a legend about the tribal Burgundians and continues with En Pacem Domine, a Latin song in reference to the Christianization of the German tribes. Continuing on with a Norwegian rendition of the Song of Roland referring to the Frankish conquest of the Germans. The song itself does not refer to this, however, it is a song of the times. We then continue with some medieval music, including Das Palestina Lied, referring to the time of the Crusades, and Durch Barbarei Arabia, which was written in the 1300s, followed by Ave Mater O Maria, a song from the same author of Durch Barbarei Arabia, and referring to the times in which Germany was primarily Catholic and the Catholic faith played an important part in the life of every German. From there, we continue with Florian Geyer's rebellion and the rejection of the Catholic Church in some areas of Germany and the Reformation with the famous Eine feste Burg ist unser Gott. From there, we move on to two songs referring to the Landsknechts that lived around the time of the 1600s and the Thirty Years' War, which was a brutal war between the Catholic and Protestant forces of Europe centered around Germany, in which a large portion of the German population died. After which, we go with the famous poem Prince Eugen, which refers to the Prince Eugene of Savoy, who fought against the Ottoman Turks who were invading Europe. Thereafter, we enter Prussia and Frederick the Great with the song Frederikos Rex, followed by the Hohenfriedberger Marsch, which commemorates his victory at Hohenfriedberg. From there, we are reminded of the power of the Holy Roman Empire with its anthem that came out in the late 1700s, followed by a song reminding us of Napoleon's dominance over the German lands with the Confederation of the Rhine during the Napoleonic Wars. Then we enter the political movement to unify Germany with Des Deutschen Vaterland, followed by the actual success in the German unification following the Battle of Königgrätzer, in which the Prussians defeated the Austrians, and the Battle of Sedan, in which the Prussians defeated the French, leading to the unification of Germany. Thereafter, we move into the German Imperial period, followed by the Weimar Republic, signified by the Deutschland lead that became the national anthem during the time. After this, we move on to five songs representing Germany under the Nazi regime, followed by five songs representing Germany uh, as split with the East and Western Germany and the Eastern Germany under the Eastern Bloc. Themes for this time period include the rebuilding of Germany, the rearmament of Germany signifying its new independence after the occupation and the border guard that kept Eastern Germany and Western Germany separate. This is followed again by the Deutschland lead indicating the, the reunification of Germany, followed by the Ode to Joy indicating Germany's central position in the European Union. I thank you for having taken this journey through German political history in musical form along with me, and I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Uh -huh.